the biggest single weapon in the American Armed Forces. In fact, no other Navy in the world has anything quite like it. It's also one of the most complex and technically advanced pieces of engineering on Earth. And we've got an all-access pass to the flight deck, the cockpit, even the captain's chair of the USS Ronald Reagan. We're about to discover the technology operating this supercarrier as a mobile combat airport and a floating home for more than 5,000 sailors. Like President Reagan himself, this supercarrier's motto is peace through strength. But this ship is more than strong. It's mobile. Unlike ground troops, a carrier can head anywhere in the world quickly and easily by sailing through international waters. We can take this carrier strike group anywhere in the world that we want to with only the permission of the President of the United States. This massive marine monster is perfectly designed for one task, launch and land fighter jets anywhere in the world. The Reagan's current mission, prowl the waters of the Western Pacific Ocean near Korea. It's a demonstration of force, establishing American presence in a troubled area. It's no wonder adversaries show respect when this supercarrier shows up. It's got plenty of size, speed, and manpower. The USS Ronald Reagan is 1,096 feet long, nearly as long as the Empire State Building is tall. It towers 20 stories high. Fully loaded, it weighs 97,000 tons. And this mammoth ship is also a speedster, able to exceed 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. To keep it all running, the Reagan houses a crew of five to 6,000, commanded by Captain Terry Kraft. I tell people I manage a nuclear power plant with an airport on top and 5,000 people squeezed in between. That's life on an aircraft carrier. The USS Ronald Reagan is the newest and most advanced of nine nuclear power Nimitz-class supercarriers the largest warships in the world. And it's got a price tag to match, four and a half billion dollars. Aircraft carriers are built for the long haul, so I, I really do think you get your money's worth out of an aircraft carrier. You know, the last commanding officer of USS Ronald Reagan has not been born yet. The ship's designed to last for 50 years. Despite the billions of dollars of technology built into this supercarrier, the ship is still run by human hands. And the heart of the action is the flight deck crew, a team of 400 highly trained sailors. They have to remain focused and rely on well-honed procedures. This flight deck is filled with roaring jet engines, massive machinery, and dangerous weapons. In the carrier's most dangerous situations, one team is on the front line. The EOD, Explosive Ordnance Disposal. From defusing a damaged bomb to handling unexploded ammunition, EOD takes the greatest risks of anyone on the ship. Our motto is initial success or total failure, and that summarizes pretty much what we do. One task, defusing underwater mines, requires a helocast a Seahawk helicopter ride deep into the open ocean. Out here, miles from the carrier, the team runs an intense drill, jumping into the water, then climbing back into the low-flying helicopter. Obviously, there's some risk, but it's a uh 
it's a challenge. It's fun to do to, to work with some of those guys, jump them out of the helo, and then uh, pick them up. When the ammo is gone and the last aircraft mission has been flown, the USS Ronald Reagan heads for home. These sailors have been at sea for more than three months, and they're ready for the deployment to end. How's your family doing? Good, sir. Good? Good. The boys are getting big. How old are they? They'll be three in August, sir. Yeah. We have been underway a lot. The hard part about that, uh, that you just can't get around, it's hard on the family. So we're, we're looking forward to getting home. But it won't be long before the USS Ronald Reagan, the world's largest mobile combat airport, is back out at sea. And when it's prowling the oceans, adversaries will have to take notice of this ultimate weapon. For years to come, this supercarrier will send a message to the world the same message delivered by the president whose name it carries. Peace through strength.